What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you the best settings for Apex Legends on Windows 11 to improve your performance, especially on lower end systems. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Open up Apex Legends and navigate to your settings. In the Gameplay tab, you can adjust these first settings to your liking, such as Streamer Mode, in case you wish player names to be anonymized. Below, disable the Usage Sharing option, which can reduce network lag when in-game. You should in most cases enable the Performance Display setting, as it will show computer and network performance data in the top right corner of the screen during a match. You can also use another FPS counter, such as the one from Steam, to troubleshoot performance issues as I am. Before making changes to your video settings, take a look at the accessibility settings. These can be optimized for colorblind users or those with poor eyesight. After applying your gameplay settings, navigate to the video tab. You will want to play Apex Legends in full screen mode to improve your overall performance while in game. It's set to windowed on my end as it's easier to record on my monitor. Set the aspect ratio and resolution settings to your native monitor resolution. In a lot of cases, this will be 16x9 and a resolution of 1920x1080. In case you have performance issues after applying your video settings, you might want to reduce the resolution setting to 1600x900 for example. This will in any case improve your performance but the visual quality will in turn also reduce. The brightness setting will have no impact on your frame rate, as well as your field of view, FOV ability scaling and the sprint view shake option. In some rare cases, an increased FOV will reduce your performance a little, but should not be of high impact. In my opinion, having the FOV ability scaling option enabled will make the game a bit more immersive, but I dislike the normal sprint view shake option as it's shaking a bit too much. In your advanced video settings, make sure to disable VSync if you have low FPS while in game, as it will dramatically increase your input lag. For users with a high end PC running the game at over 144 FPS, make sure to set this option to adaptive. This will make sure that the game locks the frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate while reducing screen tearing. For decent Nvidia graphics card, make sure to enable the Nvidia Reflex setting to reduce your latency while in game. The Adaptive Resolution FPS Target setting will make sure that the game tries to maintain the FPS target, in my case 100, while reducing the render resolution if needed when in game. If the game is failing to maintain the target frame rate, then lower the resolution setting above. Adaptive super sampling will do the opposite. If you have some performance to spare while in game, this setting will raise the render resolution. I prefer to disable this setting. If the anti aliasing option is not grayed out, then I suggest disabling it entirely. In some cases, this setting will make the game look very washed out and blurry when enabled. Below, set the texture streaming budget option to about two-thirds of your GPU's entire video RAM if you have no major applications running in the background while in-game. In my case, 6GB of VRAM is a decent value, but you might need to reduce it to 2 or 3. This will come down to how well the game is running on your system and how much VRAM you have to spare. If you don't care much about perfect image quality and more about the game's performance, then set the texture filtering option to bilinear, which will show less details when playing Apex Legends and will reduce the VRAM budget needed. For more details, set this option to anisotropic 2x or 4x. The same goes for the ambient occlusion quality, sun shadow coverage, sun shadow detail, spot shadow detail, volumetric lighting, 
Dynamic Spot Shadows and the other detail options below. Personally, I prefer to lower the shadow and lighting settings to a minimum. And I still prefer to have my model detail setting set to high. Shadows are less important to me and can drastically reduce your GPU's performance, depending on your system. The Model Quality option will change your and others' character's model quality for instance, which is more important to me. In your audio settings, adjust the master volume to an appropriate value. In my opinion, you should be able to reduce the intro sound of the game as it's always too loud. Below, optimize your voice chat settings by setting the incoming voice chat volume option to 100%. Your open mic record threshold option should only be set to a high value when using the open mic voice chat record mode. After applying your settings, you should notice an increase in performance. To get the most out of your system, make sure to follow my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.